Hello guys and welcome back to CBAX tutorial. So this time, variables with exponents naman yung ating problem set. Ayan, so kapag siya binakitin kasi yung mga variables, dyan na pumapasok yung mga ano, letters, okay? Um, actually, merong kasabihan nga noon na masakit daw sa ulo yung mat nung dumating na yung point na sinama na yung variables or letters sa mga numbers. Actually, kasi di ba yung mga problems natin dito sa numbers with exponents is madali lang kasi meron siyang ano eh, Meron siyang values, okay? Madali natin makuha yung mga values. Pero kapag sinamaan na natin ng letters, nahihirapan yung mga estudyante or mga bata. Actually, kahit naman ako, personally, nung nagkaroon na ng, ano, <laughs> ng variables yung algebra nung second year high school kami, ang sakit na sa ulo. Di ba? Hinahanap yung x, hinahanap yung y. Pero dito kasi sa ating variables with exponent, wala pa tayong hinahanap na value ng ating mga variables. Ang gagawin lang natin is simplify natin yung mga given sa ating mga problem. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So this is our problem number one under variables with exponent. So problem natin is 2x raised to 5 multiplied by y cubed. Okay, multiplied by 4y raised to So, ang technique dito is um, i-multiply natin or pagsama-samahin natin or i-divide natin lahat ng numbers. And then, pagsama-samahin natin, i-subtract natin, i-add natin, i-multiply natin, i-divide natin lahat ng magkakaparehas na variables. Okay? Or pare-parehas na base. So, ang gagawin natin dito is sabi ko sa inyo, pagsama-sama natin lahat ng mga kakaparehas, numbers man or variables, so ang numbers natin dito is yung 2 and 4. So since nakamultiply to or multiplication yung ating uh, operation, so ibig sabihin 2 multiplied by 4. Tapos, yung x naman. Ang ating x is x raised to 5. Then dito, wala naman tayong x. So kayaan na natin. Di ba? Then multiplied by y y raised to 3 okay dito then ito naman is y raised to 3 so dito natin ma-apply talaga yung loss of exponent so ilan to 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 then x raised to 5 then ito parehas sila ng base remember our ano loss of exponent kapag parehas ang base ang papakalman lang natin is yung exponent tapos, ang gagawin natin sa exponent is pagsasama-samahin. So, this is positive, positive 3 and this is positive 3. Therefore, y raised to 3 plus 3. Kaya yung ating final answer is 8, raised, uh, 8 multiplied by x raised to 5 multiplied by y raised to 6. Okay, so isama na rin natin yung ating problem number 2. So, ang ating problem number 2 is 12 uh, multiplied by x raised to 5 multiplied by y raised to 6 over 3x squared multiplied by y raised to 3. And, okay. So, this is 12 over 3 multiplied by x raised to 5 over x raised to 2 multiplied by y raised to 6 over y raised to 3. So, itong 12 over 3, pwede na kagal natin masimplify, hindi ba? So, this is 12 over 3 is 4. Then, multiplied by, okay, so, loss of exponent, itataas natin itong x raised to 2. So, mangyari dito is x raised to 5 multiplied by x raised to negative 2. Then, ito, itataas rin natin yung y raised to 3. So, this is y raised to 6 multiplied by y raised to negative 3. So, this is 4 multiplied by lang ito. Pag-asama natin yung exponent natin. This is 5 minus 2. So, this is x raised to 3. Then, multiplied by y raised to 6 minus 3. So, that is positive 3. Kaya yung ating final answer is 4 x raised to 3 multiplied by y raised to positive 10. Okay, so di ba napakasimple lang ng ating ano, napagsisimplify ng mga expressions natin. Pero syempre sa ating problem number 3, 4, and 5, uh, medyo mahirap-hirap ng konti. Okay, so hanggang dito na muna yung ating first example or first video ng 
ating topic na variables with exponents under chapter 4 exponents and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on our youtube channel so thank you for watching bye